Eric Fine, a 72 pin connector with you. Today, we are going to be unboxing the new Nintendo Switch. Just picked this guy up this morning because the place I pre-ordered was not open at midnight, so I had to get up at five o'clock to get there by six. Um, you'll see a little bit of some stock photos over here that we've been seeing the entire release. Nice easy flap there. Just pull this down. And we will see that I have this upside down. Let me fix that. And there we go. Let's go ahead and lift this lid. So we'll see some really nice, neat, clean packaging with the important stuff right on top. Let's go ahead and dig into the meats. The first thing we have here is the actual switch itself. And as you can see, it's not too big. Kind of resembles a navigation unit you would find in a car. They have it packed in this nice plastic coating. It's a little weird, doesn't have that filament you normally put on top of screens. But looking at the top, we have our volume controls and power up here. Right up here, we have the flap for the game cartridges. Let me get my fingers out of the way so you can hopefully see this a little better. Um, then we have a headphone jack right here. And on the bottom, we have our USB-C, and it looks like two little indents right here where I'm putting my thumbs. This is probably used to help nest into the dock. Look at the back. Looks like you possibly have some more vents. Then we have the kickstand. That's a little flimsy, not quite sure I like that. But, if you look down here, you will see we have the micro SD slot, which is really important for this thing because it does not offer you a lot of storage. Well, there's the switch for you. Now let's take a look at some of the other stuff. And first we have the right Joy-Con. It seems to be packaged the same way the Switch was. We have this nice little thumbstick. Clicks in pretty well. The four buttons press pretty well. This thing is small though. I have big hands, but man, this is small. And these bumpers don't seem to press the best. Would probably not be the ideal way to be playing. But the actual controller itself is fairly good. The bumpers on the top are also a little bit bad, but either way, that's the right Joy-Con. Here's the left Joy-Con. It packs the same way as the other two things. Um, we have the joystick, clicks just as well. Buttons press the same, bumpers are the same. Shoulder bumpers are the same. So uh, pretty much the same exact thing as the right Joy-Con. So now, let's get this top part out of the way and see what we got underneath. So, let's see. First up, we have in a loose package the slide that will go on the Joy-Con. So, we look at this. The Joy-Con has a mark right here where it shows you which way you need to slide it. So, you should be able to slide just like that. Here it snap, and it fits pretty well. It'll seem to help with the bumpers some, but the actuation point's pretty deep, so it's not really easy. So up here's the release, and you should be able to pull it off. Hmm. This doesn't seem to wanna come off too easily. I have heard some other reviewers talk about this, that the uh, rails doesn't want to disengage. Hmm, I'll come back to this and take a look. This release seems to be unlocked, just, uh, oh well. We will um, press on and I'll get this off and show you guys later how it'll dock to the actual switch itself. So, let's go. Okay, so next up. We have the actual controller dock. This is not the charge dock. This is just the dock that allows you to put the controller in. They should just slide in. Well, if you get it lined up properly. Let me see, I'm sliding it the right way. 
should just go like that, but that, that doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's not all right. Let's see. Oh, there's a lip down here. So if I do that, bam, there we go. Slides in once you get it lined up. Um, feels okay. Next up, we have the instruction manual. Warranty and stuff. Probably tells you the cartridges taste terrible. Don't eat. Next up, we have the only thing in the box with bubble wrap. So we're going to slide it out of there. Then we slide it out of the white packaging and we will have the dock. So let's take a look. It's very light, a little bit of weight in the back side. Um, but it's all in all feels kind of light. This back, yeah, it'll just pop right off. Um, back here we have the USB 3 ports. We're going to have our AC adapter. It's a little weird looking adapter, but it works. And we'll have our HDMI. All three of those will come right out that hole or this little slot. Uh, it'll snap up for you and that's it. The inside, we will see that we have the USB-C and then we have those two pegs. Those will fit into those holes I talked about earlier on the actual console is those two poles right there will actually allow that to dock so you don't destroy your USB-C trying to wiggle it to get it to nest. Okay, so then we have our HDMI cable. So nothing important, not really gonna go in depth. You see two ends, it's a cable, it's HDMI. So you know what it is. And the last thing in the box is our AC adapter. Without this, the switch is not possible. So pretty standard, it'll plug in. Um, and that's pretty much everything in the box. So this is the Nintendo Switch. Feels pretty solid. Um, just here in a second, I will show you that Joy-Con and how it actually docks. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so one thing I didn't notice on this rail adapter is if you look right up here, you'll see a little plus sign here and you flip it over, you'll see a negative sign. So that is really important because you need to match it with the plus and minus on the controller. It is a universal adapter, but you will have to make sure you line up the plus with the plus and the minus with the minus. So you see plus to plus, you'll slide it. It'll show you the sign and you just slip it on there and there we go lines up perfectly the white tab is the lock when it's forward it's locked when it's down it's unlocked and then that's locked that's unlocked you will see the release button back here you need to press so unlock and press and you push and it slides off it is not smooth but when you do the switch proper that thing will slide right on. And grab the left one and it'll slide right on. This feels really well, pretty balanced. Um, all in all, that's really nice design. You press the button, slides right off on both sides. Well, just don't wanna smudge the screen up. There we go. And there you go. That is exactly how the Joy-Cons dock and undock. Until next time, game on.